My hair looks like a croissant. Right, hello. Um, let's talk about predictions for a minute, because... Oh my days, the ones I did were shocking. Let's just show some of them. Well, I do think Denmark will top, top the group. They're going to absolutely batter them because I'm an Ecuador. I think Uruguay will get to the final. Argentina against Saudi Arabia. The real, it's an Argentina win here. Switzerland 3, Cameroon 3. Semi-finals, Argentina v Uruguay and England v Germany. But Germany with a really good squad, really strong looking. I'm going to say it's going to be 3-1 to Germany. Uruguay v South Korea, like I've said, Uruguay are the underdogs. They're the Croatia. They're getting to the final. Oh, like what am I playing at? I'm serious right now, that is shocking. But, it's alright. We all have second chances. That's the point of life. So today, we're going to be doing the round of 16. And they are going to be right, because I'm clever. Sometimes. So, Netherlands versus USA. We all know who's winning this one. The US are they. Our soccer team is so good. They tied with England 0-0. Zero zero. Weston McKinney is the greatest quarterback in the world. As much as I make fun of this team, they have been good. And I said it before the England-USA game. Like, they would shut us down. And they did that. Maybe better tactics are a better kind of manager could get them further. But they are doing very, very well. And there's nothing to say they can't beat this Netherlands team. We don't look amazing. Let's be real. Um, be real. <laughs> I'm so funny. Argentina, Australia. Argentina have to win this. Otherwise, it is embarrassing. So I'm going to go 3-0. Australia, I'm sorry, but you're Aaron Moy FC. What are you gonna do? France v Poland. Damn. One of two European matchups here. I, I just, oh, they both got good quality. I think Poland didn't actually look that great in the group stages, if I'm honest with you. France did, and they've broken the World Cup curse. I said they would go up, at, go out at this point, but I also thought they'd finish second and be playing Argentina, so. Oh, I don't know. I have got to say, France's quality is better. They've been looking good. So it's going to be 2-0 France, and they're going to go through to the quarters. England v Senegal, just, just, I, just, I beg, please, please win. This is what's going to happen. We're going to put in a Sweden performance, a performance like we did against Sweden in the World Cup in 2018, in the quarters, yeah. We're going to win 2-0, show our quality, be nice and comfortable get through to the quarterfinals, and then play France. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Why? Why have they done this to us? I'm just, I'm just going to leave it at that. 2-0, and we'll see what happens in the quarters. Monday, Japan v Croatia. Two underdogs. One underdog is getting through. Maybe Japan more so than Croatia, but Japan... I've been so impressed with their defensive stability, with their just calmness on the ball and their fight as well. And I think they're going through. They're going to win 2-1. And the ball was in play, okay? Calm down. Brazil v South Korea. This is just going to be a boring one. Like, South Korea have been okay. They've got through. That was their moment. Brazil are going to score in like the 63rd minute or something. It's going to be like Vinny Jr. sweeping it into the side netting and then nothing else is going to happen. 1-0. Morocco v Spain. Mark my words. 1-1 one, one, and it's going to be one on penalties. Okay. This is the game I want to watch. But it's, again, it's at 3 o'clock. Like, come on. But Morocco are going to shock Spain here. Spain, you could argue, settled for second place because they wanted Germany to go out. You can argue that. I would say they're such a winning kind of natured team, like you've got Barcelona and Real Madrid, teams orientated around winning, they had their best squad out, I think there was just a dip in quality there, Japan showed their fight, and they showed that they, they had more, they had more reason to win, um, so I think Morocco could genuinely beat them, and that will be the shock of the round of 16. Last but not least, Portugal v Switzerland. There seems to always be three twos. So I'm going to go for Portugal three, Switzerland two. Both of those teams are always involved in three twos. What is going on? 
can you tell me, please? Like, it's going to be something like, I don't know, like, uh, who, who's scored for Portugal before? I'm just going to say, João Felix, uh, Bernardo Silva can have one, and then we'll give one to Bruno Fernandes. There you go, we're sorted. So the teams we have going through are Netherlands, Argentina, France, England, Japan, Brazil, Morocco and Portugal. Who do you think is going through? Oh, I forgot to make the joke about the Americans. I forgot to make the joke about an American asking why they're playing a team from Peter Pan. I... We'll save that for next time.